Okay, so this is the Weaver class that I'm going to be talking about now, also known as a Spider. Um, it starts, now I'm going to have to go over here just to remove some traits, because I've actually got, this is a, a rank 4 at the moment, but I've also got some of these on. So I'm just going to remove them, so you can see the true health of it and stuff. So the health is actually probably the worst of them all. I'm not sure about the warg, but the, I think the wargs are about 8,000. But the health is pretty bad. The power on the other hand is quite good, so you can use corruptions to improve that. But I'll talk about that in separate videos. But uh, his damage is pretty good. And to add to the damage, he also has himself a buffering effect. Which when you use certain skills that say on them add one venom you can see at the bottom it'll add to these venom sacks and you can have five all together and it'll add a sack and then that'll increase its attack by i think it's three percent each time so its attack increases and that's not a skill that's just a built-in like trait so it doesn't take up any skills either its power is the highest of of all the uh of all the classes so you can maybe get rid of some power to add to your health like i said before his armor's pretty bad um, he has some critical defenses but you but uh yeah it's quite bad his resistance isn't too bad either it's uh nearly full his avoidance is average but there are some more stats so if you want to pause the video and look at them then yeah but i'm not going to go through them all individually okay so let's look at the skills of this guy now i just cancel that so i can get my um, this one do changes okay let's just back to your previous yes okay now as you can see i've i've used some traits to uh increase his health but i'll talk about that in a separate video just so you know why his health's gone up so let's look at the skills that he has i've got my skillless traits here right so i'm going to be talking about the ones that you get at the start there's the trapdoor sanctuary which has a um, it's immediate it lasts for a minute and it basically you can burrow into the floor and then um, you cannot be attacked in this state however if you're on fire you'll continue to get damaged and um, it has a cooldown time or a cd of five minutes next we have hatchlings which um, you can summon one of you can summon a uh, a miniature version of yourself so let's uh, perform that now and there's a little tiny version of myself and I've called him a uh, terminator obviously he has five uh, five thousand eight hundred sixty five health and has seven hundred eighteen power now I don't know if you notice but we also got some more options down here and um, this is I can bring him back to me so if he's dead far away if he's got captured I can do that i can't do that in battle however but all these are basically different stamps for my for my little fella and he's got two attacks as well which are a melee skills adds between 387 to 455 acid damage cost 63 power and has a cooldown of two minutes next we have this attack which is which consumes venomous haze uh, consumes venomous hairs to increase incoming damage by 5% for 30 seconds so doing that will increase any damage that you do to him it also does 100 between 108 to 170 127 acid damage and also plus 10 percent to all induction skills so i'll say if there's a if my maths is correct say if one of their skills costs 10 seconds when you perform that it'll cost 11 seconds and that'll last for 30 seconds it's got a cooldown of one minute and costs 157 power but that's not from your power that's from the little uh, your little pets power and we also have devour which is like a health type thing which recovers your health you can't you have to do it in battle but um it gives you 2451.2 health or morale approximately okay so let's just get rid of this guy in a bit okay so what are the skills does he have and um, let's go to my character panel skills they have march all classes have march now which just increases your speed by 25 percent 
out of combat speed. However, you can't evade parry or block when that's on. We've got Snarling Web, which is a range attack that targets the victim's legs with sticky web rooting them in place. Um, applies in Snarl effect. It can stack three times. It costs one second to do, and you can do it from 40 meters range, which is the highest you can do in that. I think it's the highest anyway. It's ha it's it's far enough anyway. Um, now it's 30 seconds rooting. However, if you do attack, it has 50% chance of breaking after one second. It costs 95 power in the cooldown of th 30 seconds. In Snarling Web, you can cover your enemy's arms with stick web, slowing their attacks. You can apply this three times, it costs one second to do, and it's at 40 meters range. Um, it does, um, it adds 30% attack duration and adds 30% skill induction, and duration is 30 seconds, cost 73 power, and cooldown of 15 seconds. Now that's a skill that you get at a higher level, so I'm not going to discuss that one. Here's um, a melee skill, which is piercing attack. An attack with your sharp talons, dealing damage and causing the target to bleed. This does a 312 acid damage, and does one, between 107, 147 to 210 common damage every 3 seconds for 9 seconds cost 62 power and adds one venom now you'll get these at the start but i'll discuss them at a at a late i'll discuss uh, them at another time so we have some range skills here we've got tainted kiss a range attack which flings a painful it's a range attack which flings a painful contact point a painful contact poison at the targets causing damage over time all right that doesn't really make sense but oh well it may make sense to you um it's a range skill at 30 meters range it does between 297 to 424 acid damage initially and then it does between 138 to 197 acid damage every three seconds for 30 seconds it costs 62 power and adds one venom like i was saying down here before Kill that is 6 seconds. Lethal Kiss, which is a 30 metre range. You f you fling a tightly contacted ball of web, damaging your, your target. Does 478 acid damage, costs 62 power, adds 1 venom, cool down of 4 seconds. And Toxin is one that you get from a later, a later, um, later skill. Passively. You've got all these. So if you just want to pause the video and look at them, you can do. And this is a promotion, so you won't be... You want to have that at the start. Now here's my stats, just so you can kind of understand the ratio of it. Now it's not all that good, my rating's quite bad. But um, I have more kills than I do deaths. That's because this class is more of a... A... Um, a support class it says in the description that it is is a support class so you stand from a distance and fling these webs slow your enemies down but also what's really nice about this guy is i can get my little hatchling here or the terminator and i can just send him into the battle cause some damage and i me myself aren't going to get damage only he's going to get damage and if he dies i can respawn another one as long as i'm not in battle and um, here's the trap door so i do that and like I say, I can sit here on the ground for I think it's a minute, let him cause a bit of damage. He might die fairly quickly, but in my experience, a lot of people just kind of forget about him because he's not doing all that much damage. But really, if I perform that, they're getting damaged more by everyone else. But I can just send him into battle at any range as long as I can see them. Press this, um, attack your, your pet will attack a selected target, and I can sit back and relax whilst he attacks. And they can't attack me in this. And all I have to do is move. And I'll pop back out. Now this does have a 5 minute cooldown. So you may want to select that to kind of get out of sticky situations. Pardon the pun. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do enjoy playing the Weaver. He is my highest ranked. I'm only rank 4 in this. But he is uh, the highest ranking of my classes. 
I do enjoy him. And um, but as long as you kind of accept the fact that he is a support class because he's not got much health or armor, he will die quite quickly in a one-on-one -on -one situation. But yeah, this is the Weaver, and I hope you enjoy him.